Hey everybody, this is Tom with Aboard Gamer. Let's take a trip back to the 1920s. Everything seems peaceful. But for some reason, bubbling beneath the surface, you feel uneasy. You find yourself drawn to the museum along with other investigators. You can feel imminent doom awaiting inside. You and your other investigators will use your knowledge of the occult to prevent the rising of the Ancient One using the Elder Sign. Elder Sign is a 1 to 8 player game for ages 14 and up, with a 1 to 2 hour runtime by Fantasy Flight Games. The basic overview of Elder Sign has players working together to complete tasks by rolling dice. By completing these tasks, you will gain Elder Signs in hopes of stopping the Ancient One from rising to devour the world. Game setup starts by placing the clock, entrance sheet, and mythos deck next to each other, preferably at the top or side of the gameplay area, so it is easily visible to all players. Pick randomly or choose an Ancient One to challenge. Place monster tokens in a cup to be randomly drawn throughout the game. Next, shuffle the adventure deck and draw six cards and place them in the center of the table. Place the adventure deck next to the drawn cards along with the other world deck. Separate the common items, unique items, spell, and ally cards. Shuffle them and place them next to the adventure deck in separate draw piles. Place all tokens in separate piles within reach. Finally, we draw at random or choose our investigator. Place the investigator card in front of you. Collect the sanity and stamina tokens to match what is displayed on your card, as well as the starting items listed on the bottom right of the card. Put all investigator tokens on the entrance card and prepare to enter the museum. Determine the first player and they will draw the first Mythos card and place it face up next to the deck and resolve its effect. Once effect is resolved, the players will take their turn. First up is the movement phase, where they may move their investigator token to a card in play, including the entrance, or choose to stay where they are. Next is the resolution phase. In this phase, an investigator will attempt to complete a task on a card by rolling dice or by performing an action on the entrance sheet. Once that phase is complete, there's the clock phase, in which the clock moves forward three hours. Let's go back to the resolution phase and show a couple examples how this would play out. This is a standard card. Provided there are no restriction cards out, a player will begin with six green dice. A player will roll and determine whether they can complete a task in a single roll. In this example, this card has discard one trophy of your choice, but whenever a terror is rolled, cards act as trophies, and the number in the green circle indicates the number of trophies each card is worth. A successful roll is when you have enough to complete a single task, in which case you do not have to discard any dice and you may re-roll to try and complete the next task. You may use any number of dice to complete the task, as long as it is complete. Once completed, you will gain whatever is in the white section of the card. In this case, it is a clue. This card has a red dice restriction. Whenever a restriction like this is in play, 
you must put a single die of the color indicated into the spot. This die is locked until the task on the card is complete. And the bottom right where the white side is are the rewards you would receive upon completing the task. On the left in the red is what you would be required to pay for failing to complete said task. This odd rectangular shape is where a monster shall be placed whenever it is required by a card. This card allows us to add one yellow die to our roll. We cannot use a card that lets us increase by a red die because this die is currently locked. Upon completing the task, we not only gain the treasures, which in this case are a common item, and a spell, we also gain the use of the red die in future turns. In some cases, the rewards include adding monsters to other cards, or receiving an Elder Sign, which can be used to stop the awakening of the Elder Ones. In this example, if you roll a Terror, you must automatically discard that die. Another thing to look out for is some cards have the arrow symbol, which means they have to be completed in a certain order. Upon failure from completing a task on your roll, you must discard a single die and try again. Not all tasks require dice, some also require you to lose either sanity or stamina. If a card is not fully completed, by the end of your turn, or you run out of dice to roll to complete the task, it is a failure, and you must do what is in the red. There are only two ways for this to end. Best case scenario, you collect enough Elder Signs to prevent the Ancient One from rising. Worst case scenario, you live long enough with your mind intact to see the Ancient One devour the world or you no longer have any sanity or stamina left to go on. Your battlefield has been laid out before you. Do what you must to prevent the Ancient One from rising in Elder Sign. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell to get notified about new videos. If you're bored now, click this for more games.